All right, so this video is going to cover this 2014 um, trio uh, problem, and it has to do with interfaces. But before we do that, let's take a look at what you need to know about interfaces. Can't instantiate an interface, meaning you can't create an object of an interface. Interface does not contain a constructor. All the methods in an interface are abstract, meaning that you have to, you must implement the um, the the methods in the um, class that implements the uh, interface. Interface cannot contain instance field. The only fields that can appear in an interface must be declared both static and final. Interface is not extended; it's implemented. So that's kind of you got to memorize that. Interface can extend multiple and. Uh, interfaces okay so the menu allows customers to create trio menu items each of which includes a sandwich salad and a drink the name of the trio consists of the names of the sandwich salad and drink in that order each separate by the uh, forward slash the fo and followed by a space and then the word trio the price of the trio is the sum of the two highest priced items in the trio one item with the lowest price is free a trio consists of a cheeseburger, sam spinach salad, and an orange soda would have the name cheeseburger, spinach salad, orange soda trio, and a price of $4, the two highest prices. Okay, so they got a list of prices somewhere down here. Oh, no, they're up here. Sorry, I should have started there. It's fine, whatever. I'll just go through this. So here's your interface menu item. It's got a get name, get price. Like I said earlier, it's a sandwich, salad, and a drink. Um, so here's like what you, here's what your interface looks like. That's the menu item that you have to implement. Uh, and then you got a sandwich object, salad object, and drink object, and then the word trio that prints. Here are their prices. So we got we're gonna have to figure out if else statements in this because. Like let's say you did a cheeseburger, spinach salad, and a cappuccino. You'd pay for the cheeseburger and cappuccino, and then the spinach salad would be free. But if you did cheeseburger, spinach salad, and orange drink, orange soda, the soda would be free. That's fine. We just started down here. No big deal. So these are the different trio uh, objects that you create, and you pass in your sandwich, salad, and your drink. Uh, and yeah okay so you can only do a sandwich salad and a drink you can't do salad sandwich drink sandwich salad salad so those are compilers that's pretty easy all right so we just got to write this from scratch that's the so what did I do here I just created I just put that the interface code in so we want to create our trio class, so we'll say public class uh, trio implements the menu <coughs> item, <coughs> implements the menu item um, <coughs> interface. So remember what I said, um, your get name and get price must be implemented at the at the trio level so and these are really easy like this public string get name we'll do return a name and public double get price return price so that's about as easy as it gets. And we got to define these as double or as private. So I'll say private string name <coughs> and private double price. So make sure you're using the word private on these AP tests because Ideally, you're supposed to make your variables private and only accessible through the public methods. So.
So now we got to write the constructor. So public trio. And remember, we're passing a sandwich, salad, and a drink. So we've got our object sandwich. And um, sandwich. I'm just going to make them lowercase. Yeah, it kind of breaks. Let's just say, yeah, sandwich, salad, lowercase salad, and drink. It's a drink. And what will we say? So we need to figure out the price. We need to get the prices of each of these. Um, so because we got to do our if else statements to figure out what the price of the trio is going to be. So I'll say double sandwich price is equal to the sandwich. Um, dot get price a double salad price so just get those and a double what is this drink price <laughs> All right, so let me think here. So we'll have if else structures here. So we want to figure out the prices of each of these. All right, so let's just write these out. So if the sandwich uh, price is less than or equal to the salad price and the sandwich price is less than or equal to the drink price then we know that the sandwich price is the lowest right so um, we would want to add up the salad and the drink okay so remember we're paying for the two highest priced items not not the lowest one so if the sandwich is the lowest priced item then we need to add up the salad price plus the drink price, okay? So else if, we'll look for the salad price to see if that's the lowest. Else if salad price is less than or equal to the um, sandwich price and <coughs> the salad price is less than or equal to the drink price, and the price is equal to the sandwich price plus the drink price. Else the drink price is the cheapest. So we would do the sandwich price plus the um, salad price. So that this is, I mean, again, this is about as easy as it gets. The biggest thing here, did you implement the menu item and did you implement the two uh, abstract uh, inter interface uh, methods up here? They're automatically abstract because they're interfaces, so you have to implement them in the, in the body of your uh, class trio that implements menu item. And so we get the price, get the salad, price get the drink price 
check and see what the lowest one is and don't add that into our final price. So now, <coughs> the last thing, remember we have to um, do something like this. So we gotta do the sandwich dash, salad dash, and then the, what is it called, the drink, and then say trio at the end. So we're, and this is our name variable right here. So we'll say name is equal to, uh, what do we got? Sandwiches passed in. So sandwich dot get name plus um, salad dot get name. plus uh, drink yeah so this is an example of a really easy AP question that you know like I've always stressed you got to get the easy ones right. Well, this is as easy as it gets. So let's look at the. All right. Public class trio implements menu item. That's a point. Declares appropriate private variables. That's a point. Okay. So there's our header that implements menu item. There's our private variables. Again, make them private because if they're not private, they'll probably just mark you wrong on that if you made them public so do you implement the constructor that passes in a sandwich salad and a drink again that's not difficult you got to be able to pick up on that right there that you have to have a trio constructor in your class because you're it's it's calling it you know if you don't have a trio constructor you're gonna get an error See here, initialize appropriate instance variables using the parameters. Yep, implements interface method gets, okay, I talked about that, get the name and get the price. Constructs correct name string and makes available for return. Yep. Return the constructed name and get name. Yep, get the computes and gets, yep. <laughs> yeah so I don't know this one's about as easy as it gets so um, this video is done